Hi guys, so we are going to practice some factoring of trinomials. So in your packet, this comes after the 3.4 notes of factoring when a equals 1. So on the top um, eight problems, we have given you the crisscross. You can choose to use this crisscross. You don't have to if you don't like this method. How to do this though? So the number that we want to multiply, the answer of the multiplication goes on the top. So that is your last number. So we want to multiply to equal 7. And then the number we want to add to goes to the bottom, and that's a 8. This is a positive 7 and a positive 8, so I don't need to put the plus signs, but we know that they are positives. So now I need to start thinking of my factor pairs of 7, because these two numbers have to multiply to equal 7. Um, so 7 is prime, so this is a lot easier. So the only factor pair of 7 would be 1 and 7. And nicely, 1 plus 7 does equal 8, so this would be 1, this would be 7. So if I think back to the notes that we took, once we have those two numbers, I put in place of my two sets of parentheses, x here, x here, and this number would go plus 1, and this would be plus 7. And again, these two can be switched. So this could be x plus 7, and this could be x plus 1, and that is just fine. But that is your answer. If I were to FOIL that, so do x times x, I get x squared. x times 7 is 7x. 1 times x is 1x. And then 1 times 7 is 7. Combine my middle two like terms, I get x squared plus 8x plus 7. If you notice, that answer is the same as this. So a good way, and I did x's instead of b's. Sorry, this should be b. Um, so this is a good way to check yourself. Did I factor this correctly? And if I did, then if I foiled it, then I should get the same number that I got there. All right, I'm going to do number 2 with you. So this number goes up top, so when I multiply, I want 10. When I add, I want negative 11. So we have 1 and 10, and there is a combination of 1 and 10 that would give us 11. And then the only other factor pair of 10 is 2 and 5. So it's going to be 1 and 11, 1 and 10. But now when I multiply, I want a positive. So a positive times a positive does give us a positive, but a positive plus a positive does not give us a negative. The only other way to get a positive 10 when I multiply, but negative when I add would be negative and negative. So two negatives make a positive when I multiply. Negative 1 times negative 10 is a positive 10, and then negative 1 plus negative 10 does give me that negative 11. So I put this in parentheses. I look at the letter, use the correct letter this time. So now we're using n, so this would be n minus 1 and n minus 10. Okay? Um, the next one I'm going to skip down to number 7. So negative 24 when I add, or when I multiply, and then 2 when I add. So factor pairs of 24 be 1 and 24 does not give me 2. Um, 2 and 12, no combination, that gives me 2. Um, 3 and 8 does not give me 2. 4 times 6, 4 times 6 does give me 2 some, somehow, some way. So when I multiply these two, I want a negative. So that means that one of the two numbers has to be negative. Okay, so now we have to figure out which number is negative. Well, I want a positive 2 when I add these. So the only way to get a positive 2 when I add would be if I have a negative 4 and a positive 6. So to factor this, it goes m minus 4, m plus 6. Again, order does not matter. So you could have m plus 6 and then m minus 4. On 9 through 12, I did not give you the crisscrosses, right? But you can put them in if you want to use them. You don't have to use them. Completely up to you. Um, so look at the directions on what your teacher wants you to do after this. But there we just went through three of those problems. Very, very similar to what you guys did in notes on the note page right before this. All right. Thanks, guys.